In this video, I'm going to show you how to repair a slow air leak in one of your car tires or your truck tires. I'm going to be using a product called Fix a Flat, and I want to show you exactly how to use it. So, this tire has been leaking very slowly, and it's gotten down to like 20 PSI. I'll fill it up with air, and then two days later, it goes back down to 20. So, before you do this, just make sure that you've tried it out a couple of times. You've filled the tire up with air completely. And if it's gone down twice, then you know that there is an issue with the tire. There's probably like a little small pin, a little small pinhole in the tire. Now I want you to physically check your tire first and make sure that there's no nails or tacks that's in the tire because that will consist of a different repair and more of an extensive repair. And so what you'd want to do is check, physically check your tire. And then what you want to do is drive the foot back and to check the other part of the tire to make sure that there's no holes. So if you, make, if you see that there's absolutely no holes in your tire, then we could use the Fix-A-Flat. So most likely you just got like a little small pinhole, and this will fix it. Now this product can be used in order to inflate the tire, but that's not what we're using this for. We're going to be inflating the tire, and you should probably have one of these on hand anyway. It's an air compressor that you can get on Amazon. Get you a good quality one that's got a little bit of metal on it, because the other ones will wear out. Um, and then this, and then keep this on hand. This is what will fill the the tire up with. Now if you do see like a little small hole from a tack or a nail then you can use this product that's a, a plug that you can get on Amazon as well and basically what you're doing is, is you're, you'll rip the nail out of your tire and then what you want to do is you want to plug it in like a, tire, uh, like a tar piece on here but I wouldn't recommend doing this for a permanent fix because that's, that's going to take in more of an extensive repair. If you just got like a little small hole then that's what the fix a flats for. Let's go inside my car right now and see what the PSI is. So if you're fortunate enough to have one of the tire pressure indicators on your car that's on your dash, this is the Nissan Ultima, as you can see here it'll show each individual tire and what the PSI is. So we know it should be around 32. Now on my front right one, which is the one I want to repair, it's at 28. So if you see on the front passenger side tire, on the upper right there, it shows that it's 28 PSI. Now I had just filled this up to 32 like a few days ago. So I know that there is a leak because this has happened twice. So that's why I'm gonna be using the repair kit right now. Real quick, if you wanna find out how much PSI pounds per square inch that your vehicle requires, I'll show you exactly how to do that on pretty much all vehicles. Check inside the driver door and on the very far bottom rather. PSI stands for pounds per square inch in a tire and you're going to see here this Nissan Ultima requires 32 PSI. So now that we know that our tire is low and that there's a little hole in there what I want to do is fully inflate the tire up to 32 PSI and then I'm going to insert my fix a flat. So let's go ahead and do that now. So first inflate the tire before we put the fix a flat in. Okay I'm going to plug up my air compressor to the cigarette lighter inside the car. This particular air compressor is called a Viair, V-I-A-I-R. And the good thing about most cars, the newer cars, you'll have an indicator to when, once it gets to 32 PSI, then that's when it'll honk, it'll let me know that it's full. Now next thing we're going to do is insert some of the Fix-A-Flat. Now the good thing about Fix-A-Flat is, is you don't want to put the whole 16 ounces in there. They have smaller bottles, but I'm just going to put like a little bit, like maybe a third of it, and that's really all you need. So what's going to happen is, is since now that I have the tire fully inflated, this is like a liquid, a liquid foam that goes inside of it. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and put the foam in there, and then what I want to do is drive around the block. And what that does is when you drive around the block, the liquid, the foam, will just move around the tire and it will locate it will locate that hole. So that's what you're trying to do is it'll locate that hole that's in there. So let's go ahead and do that now.
So I'm gonna put about a third of the bottle in there and I'm gonna save the rest of it for the next time I need to use it. But this should be a permanent fix to any hole that you have in the tire. Okay, so I'm gonna drive it around the block now to make sure that that, that gel or that cream will actually go around the tire to find the hole. All right, guys, appreciate you watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you leave a like if you could. And I will store this up, the rest of the Fix-A-Flat, and use it if I get a, a get a little small leak on another tire later on. All right, you. thanks again. You, come here. You, yes, you. I need your help. Come here. You see this right here? This wall's empty. I need a YouTube play button. In order for me to get a YouTube play button, I need 100,000 subscribers. I got, what, 20, 30,000 right now? I need 100. I need you, please, you, to subscribe. You think, my subscription doesn't help. Yes, it does. I need 100,000. I need. I visualize. I visualize what I want in this world. And what I want is a YouTube play button. I want a YouTube play button, and I need you to subscribe. You can help me. You can make your dreams come true. Just visualize it. Whatever you want in this world, you can have it. You can have all your dreams come true. I want you to help me make my dreams come true. All right? So please, please.